Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and I just had a baby four months ago So I'm gonna be sharing today what I used for the first three months I'm kind of limited on time because the Sun is going down one and two She just laid down for a nap her naps usually don't last that long So I wrote down my little list right here and I do have a bunch of stuff in front of me that I am able to show you guys as well I am a first-time mom, so I don't really know what I'm doing or talking about if you are also a first-time mom Take this video with a grain of salt we definitely didn't overbuy. We're pretty minimalistic people, I would say. So a lot of these things that we did end up using for her first three months were gifted to us from our baby shower or after we had our baby. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Our first section I have here is sleep. We didn't use a bassinet for her. We live in an apartment, so I didn't want too much stuff. My dad got us a crib and a crib mattress. We just put that in our room. Even though she is in our room, I still use this baby monitor. I had this on my registry. My friend got it for us. It's the kids need baby monitor. I just have it next to my pillow, and every time she starts to wake up, I just check here to see if she needs her pacifier or if she's hungry whatever I'm gonna show you guys I don't know it's about to die right now but it just plugs in to the wall you have to keep it plugged in it doesn't work on Wi-Fi or anything so I like that the next thing I have on here is a wipe warmer whenever we're doing her night changes she does not appreciate a cold wipe I feel like whenever we changed her with a cold wipe in the beginning she would scream really loud just because it's uncomfortable you know you don't want to wake up to coldness another thing is a diaper caddy so we have that right next to her crib so in there we just keep burp cloths her socks and just other accessories to go along with that I added a three-tier cart on the top tier we have her diaper caddy where we put all her accessories and her burp cloths and then the second one I filled with a bunch of diapers and then the last one used for just any extra stuff that I have for her also every night we have an air purifier that I turn on it does have a loud noise there is a quiet noise version that you can put for sleep time but we like to keep the noise on because it's kind of like a white noise effect that helps all of us sleep at night. It purifying the air since we do have a cat kind of helps just her be able to breathe better at night. Another thing for nighttime is a bottle warmer. Just like the cold wipes, you know, you don't want cold or room temperature milk whenever you're asleep. That warm milk at night helps her go back to bed. We stopped using swaddles in her third month. She honestly likes stretching her legs and arms, but her first two months we definitely swaddled her for bed it helped her a lot all the swaddles we got from our baby shower find a swaddle that works for you i know some people use sleep sacks but we didn't we actually used hooded onesies for her to wear to bed i like the ones with zippers rather than the buttons just because whenever i'm changing her at night it sucks unbuttoning it and then buttoning every single clip you don't have to take the onesie off just zip it up from the bottom take her legs out change her put them back in and zip it and she's good to go one thing i definitely recommend is the sound machine we actually received the hatch sound machine but for some reason it doesn't work with our wi-fi i just can't connect it i've tried a million times we are moving soon we're gonna get new wi-fi so i'm excited because we can finally use our hatch when that happens we did receive another sound machine and it's this right here it's a little bunny it plays a lot of different sounds some lullabies white noise a shusher and a heartbeat and then it also has a light i don't know if you can see the ears have the volume to go up and to go down we have experimented with a couple of these sounds and she prefers the shusher i'm gonna play it for you can y'all hear it this with the pasty combo is she is obsessed and then it also has this little velcro attachment so that you can hang it yeah we use it every day another thing that we use is a lounger i know a lot of people get the snuggle me we have this other one i don't know the brand it's just this round lounger she loves it i like to put it on the couch whenever i'm watching tv and i sit next to her yeah she likes it a lot sometimes she'll take a little 30 minute nap on it obviously you have to watch your baby while they're napping on their lounger we use it basically every day just to put her down real quick while we're watching tv or just chilling in the living room another thing that we use very often is a baby swing my favorite time to use it is when i shower i will move the swing into the bathroom and put her in the swing and i can shower peacefully she does not cry at all another thing i added is baby blankets not necessarily to sleep with but whenever she 
she's in her lounger chilling on the couch i like to put a nice blanket on her just make her nice and cozy when she's on her swing i like to throw a blanket on her just to make it even more comfortable or whenever she's on my chest i'll put a baby blanket over her i don't know it's just nice baby blankets are so cute so she can continue using it for years and years but yeah not in her crib don't put baby blankets overnight when they're sleeping. That concludes that little section. So we're going to move on to play. Every day we use her play mat. It was on my registry. I like this play mat because it has cushion. It's pretty self-explanatory. She just chills on it. She can be on her back playing with the charms or she can be on her stomach doing tummy time. This is an elephant. She loves this thing. It has this little velcro right here and you can attach it to her play mat, her car seat, her baby swing, wherever. Her first couple months she just kind of looks at it but eventually she is able to grab her charms she grabs it by the ears and she tries to put the little elephant snout in her mouth and it has a little crinkle sounds she loves this and we have a bunch of other charms like this that she likes to play with another thing that kind of goes along with that are teething rings and there's just different textures on there for her to feel and grab there's a bunch of different teething rings that you can buy these were gifted to us but she loves this that kind of concludes the play she's barely starting to grab stuff recently in the past month and a half definitely just get like little stuff that she can grab she also oh my gosh i don't have it with me but it's this book and it's this material like the crinkle material and it's a book of colors she loves that thing she'll just like squish it and play with it that was a good find anyways the next section is bath and care we have this blooming let me see what it's called it's called the blooming lotus baby bath seat it's this flower and you put it in your sink sit your baby in there and you can wash them it's very nice for her first couple months just because she is so small we don't want to put her in the ginormous bathtub we also use a portable heater since she's sitting in there we only fill the water up a tiny bit just to kind of cover her bum she does get a little bit chilly just to make bath time more comfortable we do plug in a heater while we're bathing her just to keep the room nice and warm for her this is our little setup right here we use the honest baby wash it is honest shampoo and body wash in citrus vanilla it's hypoallergenic physician tested and tear free i really love the brand honest i also like their baby wipes i just put a couple pumps in this pitcher right here and then i fill the rest with some warm water for her and then i kind of stir it around and get your washcloth dip it wipe her down eventually i uh, just kind of pour the rest on her and then rinse her off that's our little bath time combo right there when she's done bathing we like to use a hooded towel rather than a regular towel because her head gets cold she likes to be fully swaddled when she's done showering i like to put this on her it's the pipette pipette baby balm it's like a vaseline material i love this stuff so much you can use it for so many different things it works really well with cradle cap if she has any dry spots any irritation like sometimes her neck will get irritated a little bit if she spits up and i have to wipe her neck so i'll just get a little bit of this and wipe it across her neck and the irritation is gone the next day if your baby ever has diaper rash you can use it for that a little goes a long way as well so i just put like a little bit in my finger rub it all massage her little feet put on her legs her diaper area wherever and then i definitely recommend a safety first kit we got a couple of these from our baby shower a lot of them include brushes combs nail filers nail clippers basically everything you need for caring for your baby and some also come with the little nasal aspirator i will show you guys right here but we do use the one from the hospital that one works so good so that's the one we actually ended up using and then we also use a diaper genie go through so many diapers and you don't want to walk all the way to a trash can to throw it away it's great we love it okay so the last section is dishes i guess i don't really know pacifier wise we loved using her hospital pacifier it was like a blue i think it was dr brown's brand i don't remember but it was like a bluish color and she loved that thing okay she loves that pacifier but other than that pacifier the other ones we use are these right here it's the sweetie soother by i don't know the brand it's like incursive 
Ugh. I think these are from Target. They're really cute and they come in a lot of neutral colors, which we like. I don't know, man. She just really likes these. So these and the hospital pacifier are the ones we use. For bottles, we use two different kinds of bottles for her. So we use Dr. Brown's bottles and we use these bottles that somebody bought us from Amazon. It's the Nano Bebe. I like these bottles because they're shorter. I don't know, they're cuter. They kind of remind me like of a yeah, booby, I guess. <laughs> so it feels more authentic. Um, and it's only two parts, so it's super easy to wash, whereas the Dr. Brown's bottles are like four parts. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to wash these every day. Really your preference. You gotta do your research. I really didn't see a difference in spit up, any colickiness with her drinking out of different bottles. This is the bottle sponge we like. It's the Munchkin brand. We just get it from our local grocery store and it has a little attachment for the nipple as well. We tried another one that was a little bit more expensive because my boyfriend was like, oh, this one's too flimsy or whatever. So we bought a different one, but every time we would take it out of the bottle, it would splash us. So we went back to this one. We like this one. For burp cloths, we like these muslin ones. I think you can get them on Amazon. They work really good. They're super absorbent. I don't know the brand of this one. Oh, it says right here, I think. Muckin? Mukin? I'm not too sure, but some muslin bird cloths. These were great. I also highly recommend getting one of these formula dispensers. You just measure out in each little compartment, and every time you're ready to make a bottle, you literally just pour it. So every time we prep her bottles, we end up washing all her bottles. We fill it to the line with some distilled baby water and have them ready so every time she needs a bottle we just grab her bottle pour this in there shake and go super easy super super easy and if it needs to be warmed you know you just warm it up real quick takes a minute and a half something else we use is the cuddle campus pacifier clips um we don't use it too too often but if we are carrying her around my boyfriend likes to drop her pacifier a lot so every time he's holding her with her passy, I like to use that for him. As far as dish soap, we get the Dreft dish soap. It's like this pink container. We just get it from our grocery store and then we use Dreft laundry detergent. We got two big detergents, the Dreft one from our baby shower because I had it on my registry. We still have a big one left. So we're gonna go through both of our containers. And once those are done, we're gonna use, I guess, whatever laundry detergent we end up using for all of our clothes. I still will wash her stuff separately i'll just use the same detergent that we use for our clothes for the first three months it's important to make sure everything that goes on her skin is sensitive just to make sure her skin doesn't get any irritation the last thing that i'm gonna include is a baby carrier i actually found this one on facebook marketplace basically brand new we did have this other one but it was way too complicated to Put on this one is super easy it's the baby bjorn i think i butchered that name but i really like this it's in a cute pink dusty color too but you basically put it on like a backpack i don't know why i'm doing this for you guys but and then you clip this here on both sides and then you do that and then she's right there like this i love this thing also have these noise canceling headphones i got for her i used this with her noise canceling headphones and i took her to a quinceanera so that is recommended if you need to take your baby somewhere that may be loud because you do need to protect their little ears so that concludes our most used baby items from zero to three months i definitely recommend that you guys watch other videos just to get more insight and maybe somebody used something important that I missed, but this is what works for me and my family. So I hope you guys take something from this video, and if y'all do, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see y'all next time.